Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Newman Tale. This is a, uh, as the itch page calls it, a roguelite card crawling RPG. Basically, we're going to choose a hero. We will uh, specialize them in some sort of uh, specialties and venture through a dungeon here, killing and maiming and collecting all the loot. This is over on itch.io. It is free at the moment. It's still in development, but I thought we should take a look at this one and see what is going on. It's been developed, uh, being developed by Dragon Spark Games. So let's check it out and see what we can do here. So we got three different classes at the moment to choose from. We have the warrior with with the, the teeth. Uh, this is uh, you know we have the warrior with we have a, an assassin named Nimble and we have a mage named Ingram. Um, I played my test game through with uh, with Nimble and she does a lot of damage. Spirit sink preparation. This guy has an owl for a pet though, and that's appealing. Let's do that. We can also see, we can expand his story and see all his stuff that he has. Apparently he has some sort of avoid damage. He has this preparation ability and spirit sync, whatever. You know what, we'll figure it out when we get in there. Alright, Ingram. Let's go uh, venture through a dungeon. Oh wait, before we do that, we have to choose our abilities here. So we get three uh, gems to spend on different trees, different skill trees. Uh, each of these, once we unlock the bottom one, we can work our way up. So this one, for instance, would give us more strength. We don't need strength. We've got, this one gives us agility. Uh, we don't need that. This one gives us wisdom. We'll take more wisdom, sure. Uh, we can have... Oh, what was the next one? Unlocks abilities do slightly more damage. Mm, that might be a good thing to have. This one just give me more hit points. I'll take that as well. And that's resilience. You know, let's go uh, Let's go get the abilities do slightly more damage. A mystic, sure. And then next time we can move all the way up to additional damage with each attack resetting after... Mm, okay. We'll keep on normal difficulty and begin the adventure. And we'll go through, and and you can see all the, the levels here. I played a game like this very similar not too long ago. I don't remember what it was called. Um, anyway, so here we are. We've, we It's one of those games where we, we pick one of the cards in front of us, and then it'll unlock the next three above us. So if we want to, say, go to that battle over here, we have to do this one. See what I mean? And then we kind of work our way through. There's, some, there's events, there's shrines, there's camps, there's all kinds of things that are in here we'll come across eventually, and we'll eventually go all the way in there to get the, the big boss. Um, we have our past skills there, and we have just a, a spell sword in our pocket at the moment. So let's go uh, Let's go battle. So we have a grumpy toad and a small automaton. You can see they have 17 hit points, 32 hit points. We can do 23 just with a standard attack with our sword. I guess we're using a sword. Or we can use a strategic blow with a cooldown, which does more damage. Or we have this spirit sink thing. Uses Tenma's spirit power to become immune to damage for one turn. Um, well, let's just go and smack this guy for... We can kill him in one swing. Take that, Grumpy Toad! Okay, swing and a miss. Um, let's go turn on this strategic blow and smack this guy. There you go. Easy. Oh, hey, look at that! We got some new automaton plate body. I guess I'm more of like a, um... I thought I was like a mage, but I don't think I'm a mage. Can I wear this stuff? There's no negatives for it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I guess I'm more of a, like, an eldritch, um, fighter kind of thing. Alright, so next up, we have three paths we can take. We can take camp, camp, or battle. Let's go to the let's go to the, the camp over here. Alright, so now at camp we can do a few different things. We can we can rest to get hit points back. We can enhance one of our items, or we can search around and try to find things. Let's enhance our sword. So we've got Oh, we have a couple things. We have both the uh, the plate body or the sword. We can attach something onto it. We can make it Trickier, stronger, or protector. Um, this will lower the strength, agility, and wisdom of the item. Which doesn't have any of that. It does. But it will increase increase the health, resistance. No, health and resistance. Uh, I like those stats being on there, though. Uh, we can we can do that, however, to our sword, I guess, as well. Lower the agility. I don't want that. I think I want... I, want, <clears throat> I think agility is a, is a chance to hit. You know what? I'm going to take this tricky. I'm going to make a tricky sword. Enhance that. Now we have a tricky sword. Okay. Uh, next up, we have events. Let's go to this event over here. So these are like little uh, little stories, uh, interactive stories, I suppose. Which is potions. As you wander through the stony passages, you find yourself in a warm, cozy dwelling with books piled up at seemingly all sides of the room, a small cauldron standing in the center. Before you have a chance to observe your surroundings, you hear an excited voice from somewhere in the room. Hello, hello! Oh, my customer. A short woman, cloaked in ornate yet disheveled robes, walks out from behind a pile of books and approaches you. 
Would you like to buy a potion? One potion, 300 gold, two potions, 600 gold. Perhaps we can trade. I don't have any of those things. Nope, I'm going to leave. Okay, well, it wasn't very interactive this time, but if we had money, I guess we can buy things from her. I haven't seen them, one of those before. Okay, so now we can choose an, a battle, a shrine, or another battle. We're going to go to a shrine and see what that does for us. So shrines are ways of finding... Oh, that's kind of lame. We already... Oh, oh, it enhances my skill. Oh, never mind. Maybe it does do some things. Some things. So when you go to shrines, you find new abilities. We can have like four abilities, and we just enhance one of our existing abilities. Okay. Uh, we can shop if we had money, but I don't have any money. I got 16 bucks in my pocket. Uh, let's go... Um, we can camp and rest for a bit. No, you know what? Let's go kill things. We have one little skelly. No problem. We can kill him in one swing with a strategic blow. Take that. Okay. Two coins. That guy was poor. Uh, more battles. Let's go to the middle here. We got a grumpy toad and a wraith that we can kill. Next turn, we have to have cool down there. We could turn on this thing to make us immune to damage. Sure. I will do that. Uh, and then I will attack this frog. How much does it do? 29. Take that frog. So immune to damage. And then this is now on, so we'll go ahead and <clears throat> kill that guy. Hey, he had eight bucks. All right, time for the treasure room. Let's go here. What am I getting? A wolfling. Really? How does it work? Oh, it's like a relic, and it just gives me point. Oh, I was hoping it would actually be a thing. Okay, I have, I guess, a pet dog, which gives me extra health, resilience, strength, agility. Nice. Nice. Um, I would like to go... I want to go to this shrine over here. So I'm going to go to this battle. We don't have enough money to buy anything anyway, so... Let's stop over here. Kill another wraith real quick. Does 34 damage, so... Our sword is quite powerful, especially with that wolf with us. I'll take that. We'll go to the shrine now. And unlock... Oh, we now have strategic, strategic blow again. Keeping the same one enhanced. Uh, now we have some... Oh, where am I at? Oh, I'm over here. Uh, let's camp. And let's rest. I think what's happening is my health is going up, but my, my my max health is going up, but my actual health is not changing any. So let's rest. Get some hit points here. Okay. Now we'll go to an event. Let's go over here. Uh, wait, this is the same one we saw before. Uh, <laughs> okay. I've never seen this one before. And now here we have it twice in a row. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to the shrine. And, oh, Precision Shot. Empowering attack that inflicts damage and scales upon your agility. So this is one that goes with, like, the um, the, the rogue. I'll stick that in. There. So now we have three different attacks we can do. All right. Which is potions? Ah, Trickster's Cash. Enter a dark, dreary room. The embers of your dull candle, your only saving grace. In the middle of the room lies a pile of glistening treasure reflecting off a dim candlelight in your grasp. You try to collect some of the re treasure, some of the treasure. However, you can't see anything else in the room. There may be trouble. No, there's never trouble. We're going for it. Go for the treasure. Ouch. As you push the treasure, you hear a thunk and the ground gives way below you. You gain your bearings after a short while. Find yourself in a deeper level of the dungeon, albeit with a few injuries. Ouch. Did I go further on? Uh, maybe. Okay, let's go here. We have found ourselves a Reaper of Souls. Well. Okay, do I want that? 33 damage. This is 42 damage. Less health. But I gotta go with the, the Reaper. Yeah. Of course. You find a Reaper in a dungeon, you pick it up. To the events. The Blessed Rat. Entering the through cold, damp passage where you find yourself in a narrow passage. Yeah, passages, apparently. Uh, ahead, you see a large, dimly lit area with many indist indistinguishable features, new figures moving about. Seems like a home for many creatures lies ahead. Likely, some not too friendly. As you cautiously observe the area, a glimpse of a peculiar creature catches your attention. A rat with a shimmering golden fur and dim glow is drinking from a puddle in one of the area's many rocks. Many rocky alcoves. If you manage to catch the rat, perhaps it will bestow a blessing upon you. I've never thought, there's a rat, I'll catch it and get a blessing. But, you know what? I've never been to a dungeon before. So we can try to attack the rat. We can try to be agile and nab the rat. We are pretty agile, actually. Or we can be smart and lay a trap for the rat. We're a smart guy. My name apparently is Test. I guess I know. <laughs> using your knowledge of rat traps, you manage to put together a decent trap using several materials from the area. You search under several rocks in the area and manage to gather several pill bugs to bait the trap. Laying a trap 
laying the trap and lightly path amidst the rocks in your area. You hide behind cover and wait to bear your fruits of your labor. Let's wait. Pillbuck, you're really? Roly polies is what rats eat. For several minutes, you hear a loud crunching, tearing sound from the trap. Unbelievably, upon reaching and observing uh, the trap once more, the rat is completely gone. There's no damage to the trap at all, almost as if the rat disappeared into thin air. Strangely, amongst the bizarre event, you notice that a pile of shimmering gold dust remains amongst the damp rocks, along with a sizable pile of coins. As you get closer, the dust seems to seep into your skin, and you feel blessed. Oh yeah, lucky rats. That's a lot of money. And some spark, and we got a loot as well. More more things, more... So okay, so these uh, these spark, innocence, chaos, this kind of stuff, it, it sort, of, sort of piles up. And when we get to the end of the dungeon, we will you can spend that... I'll show when we're done here at the end of this. We can spend that and then unlock future things, so future runs will have new items that will be sprinkled through there. Um, okay. Cool. I haven't gained any of these things yet, have I? I'm not sure when we get that. Maybe it's between runs. Uh, okay. Well, let's go and do another event. Events are exciting. Spirit Rent. As you stride through empty-looking room, the empty-looking room, barren except for a few skeletons, a sudden breeze shoots past you from behind you, you hear the door slam shut. A misty figure begins to materialize in front of you, the dim light from your lantern passing through the doorway behind it. You realize that the spirit could be an Udaman, a guardian spirit that can give guidance and protection they, uh, to, to those they guard over. However, the Koku demon, an evil spirit, has been known to imitate uh, this in order to prey on and possess suitable individuals. What do you do? We attempt to identify it. We try to convey our righteous intentions, but well, we don't have those. Uh, we pillage the spirit, or we attempt to escape. No, no, no. Let's see what it's all about. Success. You recognize the creature as the Udaman. Udemi. Udemon. A good spirit. Okay. Um, convey our righteous in intent. S uh, spirit signals you toward a pile of ancient-looking remains, likely decades old. The spirit appears bound to this corpse, but perhaps you can free it? Yeah, of course. Give me some more innocence, thank you. Spirit seems pleased that you, demon, uh, now accompanies you on this travel. Oh, well, thanks, buddy. Ooh, I have a little demon guy following me around now, but I can't... Can I have both of him? Oh, I get either him or the wolf. Ooh. So, the wolfling gear score is 51... Yeah, I think I want the wolf. I mean, the demon sounds really cool. But sorry, buddy. You got, you got a nice cowboy hat as well, but I, I got to go with the wolf. Okay, let's go into, uh, let's go to the battle here. And let's kill. We have a boar, and we have a 86 health skeleton. We have this new precision shot, which does 20, this has 77 damage. Oh, it's so achieved 105 damage. Okay, kill him in one swing. And let's, we need 44. Man, I'm, I'm tough. Let's just do a precision shot on him. Okay, we got a lot of kind of all kinds of cash here. We we'll find a shop. We're gonna go there. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, let's go to the big battle then. Do we want to do that? Maybe not. Oh, we have a camp coming up though. No, no, I don't want to. <clears throat> I don't want to die before we get to the main guy. All right, I'm gonna you. I'm going to uh, use this, I guess, uh, so I avoid damage, and then I will hit you for seventy-seven. No, that's on cooldown. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Finish you off. And then I'll hit you for 33. Yeah. Okay. More money. We have a camp ahead of us. So we can rest. We can enhance or we can search. Let's enhance something. Ooh, all kinds of things. I can enhance my wolf. I would like... Wolf. Um, you lose some resilience. I don't know what that means. Hmm. What do I want to Im improve? The wolf seems pretty good. I'm gonna give the wolf some more agility. We have both. We got two trickies and a protector. Uh, yeah, tricky wolf. Okay, boss battle. What do we do with that loot that's in there? All right, so we have a Scylla, a couple a slugman, and a pike beast over here. Uh, that's a lot of hit points. So can I do this? Oh, it's on. It's on cooldown. I probably shouldn't have done that before. Uh, all right, we're going to do 115 damage. 436 da hit points. What? 
We gotta go with the big the big guns. So we're gonna hit him. Do we just hit him first? We gotta hit the boss first. Ouch. That seems to kind of hurt. Uh, I'll hit you again for 90. Take that. And 61. I got one more round before this uh, the spirit sink comes in. Uh, I can only hit for, what was that, 47? So I can't quite kill you. I can kill you next turn, though, if this goes off. And I'll hit you again. We gotta, get you, we gotta get you dead. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so let's do this. No more damage. I'm gonna smack you with a basic attack, I think. Kill you off. Okay, no damage. Now we can go with big guns. 115. We probably need to kill this. Let's just get this guy dead first. He's got a lot of hit points. We never gonna kill that guy. Uh, let's smack him around. Okay, and then we're going to... Yeah, precision shot. Okay, you're dead. All I gotta do is slug man. Slug man? Just you and me, buddy. 115 there from precision shot. We got uh, this one back. We'll hit him. Basic attack. 115 there. Just in case there's more after this. Take that. We got it. We do pants. Apple, we got a swift sash. Okay. Done? Done, I guess. Okay, and we go on to the next, the next dungeon. Um, all kinds of new things, though. We got a uh, new pants, which are actually not... I mean, they're okay. They're pants. I'll take them. We have an apple which can get some health for us. We could use some healing. Did I gain anything here? How do I go back to... Do we just keep going until we die? Is that how this works? I don't actually know. Um, I'll show the main menu here in a minute, though. But let's go and do this event because I like the events. The arena. Cheers surround you and you find yourself in a large circular room with seats several feet above you behind metal fences. A voice echoes throughout the chamber. Good people of the underground, welcome to the arena. For this match, we've got some fresh meat. Two new pit dogs, or at least we think they're pit dogs. What will you do? Battle or leave? No, 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 we'll fight. We don't have any hit points, but it's fine. Combat. A couple pit dogs. Okay, we're probably going to lose here. I kind of want to lose, though, because I want to see if what happens if we when we die, if it takes us back to the main menu. So I'm going to hit this guy. Yeah, kill me off here, because I want to see what happens. Uh, yeah, hit me again. One, one more time. Okay, there we go. So now, because we now, so now we're done. Our journey has come to an end. Okay, we got some some things to spend. Let's go back to the menu. And now we can go into the vagabond shop, and we should be able to spend these coins on things. We got four, whatever these are. Oh, we don't have enough to buy anything. I died too soon. Uh, I guess, we, so if we had enough of these things, we could buy, um, like a shard of power. Unlock the necklace that raises strength. These are the things that are just, they're, they're just, like, unlocks a new artifact to find within the dungeon. So it's just things that are sort of just in the dungeon somewhere. New skill card, new healing. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, and there we go. So there's, there's Newman Tale. It's over on itch.io. It's free right now. Of course, you can always tip the, uh, the dev. It's still in development. Um, my name was Test, apparently. And we do it all over again. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.